Hi there, my name is Rachel, and today's practice is called Yin Yoga for Purpose. One of my favorite parts of a Yin Yoga practice is how it helps us to let go. And when we release what no longer serves us, we make all of this space for more good things to enter our life and for us to align with our higher selves and our purpose. So if there's something that you have been looking toward letting go lately, I invite you to chip away piece by piece at that as we move through today's practice. You may want to have a block nearby and we'll start with a meditation in child's pose. So coming on to our shins with the knees spread wide and feel free to place the block under your seat between your heels, stretching your arms out forward and allowing your head to come down to rest onto the mat or the floor. And if you would like to place the block underneath your forehead to raise the floor higher to meet you, feel free if that helps you to feel more grounded. Entering into our practice by setting the tone. This precedent that here on our mats in this time that we carved out to care for ourselves, we will hold ourselves, all of ourselves, in our practice together. Our physical body, our minds, and our hearts. Taking notice of what you brought with you into your practice today. First at the layer of the body. Do you feel tight in your hips perhaps as we sit here in child's pose? How does it feel as your forehead rests on the earth? Next, let's examine the level of our breath. As you draw your next inhale in through your nose, feeling the coolness of the room around you. And then exhale, releasing that breath back out the nose, noticing the warmth your body gave to it. With each inhale, drawing some newness into yourself. And with each exhale, letting go just even a little bit. A layer deeper we go, now examining our hearts and our minds. What do you feel right now in your heart, in your emotions? What's on your mind? Are there many thoughts or are things starting to become quiet and still? Giving ourselves some time to just acknowledge what is here in our body, minds, and hearts without having to change anything. Holding that space for ourselves prepares us to create space with intention. And as we move throughout our practice today, remembering that our breath is our anchor through every posture a place where our mind and our attention can rest. And also I offer this simple affirmation, another anchor for you and another anchor for our mind to rest on. I let go because I believe in myself. I let go because I believe in myself. Holding that affirmation, if you'd like, as an intention for practice today. Thinking about it in your mind's eye, hold it there and draw some breath in, breathe some life into that intention. And then exhale, let it dissolve. You can call it back to you as you need it throughout our practice today. 
On your next inhale, walking your hands in, coming up to sit on our shins, and then sending our heels out to one side, and then our feet out in front of us. Our first posture today will be caterpillar. And if you would like to sit on the block, it can give you a little bit more help if you have trouble leaning forward over our legs. And feel free to separate the feet to be about hips with distance if you prefer. Take an inhale, lift your arms to the sky. And then exhale, fold out over those legs. Allow your head to hang. Allow the spine to curve. Finding that edge, finding that place where you begin to feel the stretch in the hamstrings. You begin to feel undersides of those legs beginning to open up. And then once you've found your place, allowing yourself to be still. We'll hold this posture for a few moments. All the while drawing that breath in and out of the nose. As we notice the sensation in our legs, or maybe even in our spine as we round over our thighs. We also notice other parts of our body. As we offer this care to our legs, can we release tension in other places of our body that aren't serving this purpose right now? Are you clenching your jaw? Did you allow that jaw to relax? Are you furrowing your eyebrows? Can you allow your face to relax? Letting go even now of the tension that no longer serves us. So that way we can allow our muscles and our connective tissue in the legs to receive the care that they deserve. I let go because I believe in myself. On an inhale, begin to roll back up to sit. Gently coming out of our forward fold. From here, if you'd like to bounce the knees, lean back into your hands. Bring some blood flow back into the undersides of those legs. And then when you feel ready, we'll come into dragonfly pose. So still seated here on our block if you choose, or you can always choose to not sit on the block. Sit straight onto the mat. Bring your heels apart, straight legs, for a sort of wide-legged forward fold. When you find your place, take an inhale, reach those arms to the sky, and then exhale, begin to fold out between those legs, allowing gravity to pull you down. And if you feel like you're having trouble bending forward, that block is there to help gravity pull you forward. You can always take a seat onto it. Finding your edge again, and then finding that stillness again. Finding that breath again. Oftentimes, it's in these moments of stillness that our mind tends to run wild. If you find yourself seated here, quiet and still, maybe for the first time in a long time, and you notice the mind tending to jump to all sorts of different things that you need to do, maybe a to-do list or just even things that are pressing on you. 
gently draw your mind, your attention back to this moment, back to that breath. Each and every inhale, each and every exhale. Even setting aside that time to practice yoga is a sort of letting go. Letting go sometimes of the control that we feel we have. Taking our foot off the gas pedal of our lives for even just a few minutes to take care of ourselves. The world will keep turning as we set aside a few minutes to care for ourselves. Sometimes that can be easier said than done. It can be hard to carve out time to take care of ourselves. But we let go because we believe in ourselves. We turn to our yin practice. We create these opportunities to let go of what no longer serves us because we believe in ourselves because we are worth it. On your next inhale, begin to walk your hands in, sit up straight. And once again, drawing our heels together, legs out long in front, we'll bounce those knees, get the blood flow back into our legs. When you feel like your legs are ready to go, we'll remove the block or you can keep it if you choose. Our final pose before we come down onto our backs will be butterfly, bringing the soles of our feet together and our knees out wide and bent. Adjusting how close you would like your heels to your seat. The closer they are, more of a groin stretch you might feel. Further away, you'll get more of this um, leg stretch. Listening to your body and knowing what's best. Take an inhale when you're ready. Allow your spine to lengthen. And then exhale, pull down over those feet. Either seated on the block to allow gravity to help you, or you can sit flat on the mat as well. A block or a bolster, or a stack of books, or a rolled up blanket, or a rolled up yoga mat. Any of those would be great options. There's something I'm sure you could find that would serve you in your practice today if you need it. And then finding that place where you feel that stretch, you found your place where you can hold the pose for a few moments, where you know that you're getting the medicine that the pose has here for you. With each inhale, drawing that oxygen in, sending that nourishment down into the body, into the legs, into the stretch. With each exhale, releasing tension, releasing whatever it is you would like to let go of. On your next inhale, begin to come out of this butterfly pose and we'll remove the block for good now. Sending our legs straight out in front of us. Roll down onto your backs. Allow your arms to fall next to the body, palms to the sky, feet flop open and eyes closed for our final posture, Shavasana ultimate expression of letting go. I invite you one final time to call back to your mind's eye our intention, our affirmation. I let go because I believe in myself. Shifting our focus this time from what it is that we're releasing to that image of what we are gaining. I invite you to imagine what it is you're creating space for. Maybe you're imagining what it would be like to live out your purpose in its truest form. 
hold that picture in your mind's eye and take an inhale, breathe some intention into that. And then exhale, release it. Allow that image to dissolve with a sense of trust that good things are coming to you. You have a few moments to spend here in Shavasana, relishing in that trust. I invite you to do so. When you're ready, we'll meet to end our practice in our cross-legged seat at the center of our mats with our hands at our heart. May we always believe that we can let go because we believe in ourselves. Namaste. Thank you so much for your presence. It's always a pleasure guiding us in these practices together. Until next time, bye-bye.